Next up on Playing by the Pound, we have Feed the Crown. This was made by Roops for the Wake Game, Wake Gaming's Game Jam of 2020. This one is another one where it's not purely furry stuff, but it's furry-esque girls, so sure, why not? Again, I'm more interested in the stuff that's straight up furry, but I will still review humanoids occasionally. Let's check it out. So, who will you serve? Got Burb Girl. Wait, the second game of a Burb Girl, actually. Got Mouse Girl with... <laughs> kind of, let's go with Cat Girl. Mouse Girl or Cat Girl? One or the other. You guys are into Mouse. You guys want Mouse. And then we're going to play either a Bird Knight, a Cat Knight, or a Mouse Knight. Because we're going to serve one of them. So, um, Mouse... mouse you, guys are really, you guys are really into Mouse. Okay, we'll do Mouse. Good, you've arrived. Step forward, soldier. We need all the mouse power we can get around here. The others may call me their queen, but I have no interest in establishing another monarchy. No, I am merely the face of the mouse resistance. For too long, our people have been cast aside, see so as fit only to serve. Does the spoiled cats, birds, and pigs squall over op opulence? We have been working in the shadows. We tried to diplomacy, and they laughed at us, but food talks. So that's where we'll hit them. Start with those greedy pigs. Now is the time for us to rise. We're going to take for those gluttons and give to the people in need. That's where you come in. Your mission is to convert operation behind enemy lines. Traverse the pig's castle to command near their food supplies. Make them squill. <laughs> We've known hunger for years, so we must show them we are no longer content with scraps. Go now, soldier, for the resistance. All right, I'll go. Fortunately, they just leave their door open. In I go. Greedy pigs, not smart pigs. How do I play? Um, okay. Can I, I can jump. I don't know if I can fight. I'm a tiny little mouse knight. What can I do? I got the armors, but I don't know if I got the powers. I think I'm just dodging. I could try to jump out of their head, but I don't know if that would do anything. I will steal all their apples. Well, you were full mouse, but I guess this will do. You must remember, folks, that there's a lot of people out there that only like humans, and so they might want to make their humans slightly... They might want to say, oh, I made a cat, but it's just a human with cat ears, because they can't get over the idea of anything besides humans, so... <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes. Look, again, I, as I said in a different video, it's perfectly fine if you just care about human stuff. That's not a bad thing or anything. You know, some people are more vanilla than others. That's cool. You're not furry. That's all right. Understandable. But, um, I don't know. Just try to branch out, you know? I just, I just that's what I encourage people. Just try, try branching out. Try something new, you know? Try something you haven't done before. Um, what do I feel like you had a bad experience with this? Not really a bad experience. The only thing I could, how do I do this? How, no, no seriously, how do I get that? How do I get that? I will take suggestions. That's for cats. That's rude. First, look at this cute cat. Cat is person of ears squints. I, I don't know if I, I like, well, this game is constructing a universe, you know, where, uh, it's like the pigs and, you know, the blah, blah, blah are, 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 it's like, it's, it's technically treated like an animal world, but really it's just a bunch of humanoids, which is fine. Again, it's not that it's a bad thing, but it's just less interesting than if these were actual animals. I'm reminded of that one game that actually did a really good job. I don't consider it a furry game, but it had actual animals in place of the characters and it was really good. What was that one? It was an RTS style game. It was really awesome. Oh gosh. What was it called? Levels are the same for each race. Each race gets their own boxes. Mice are small enough to jump up the thing, like the, the maze things, like this. So the levels are the same, and but traversing the levels is different for each character. Then that's that's fair. So so basically everybody is raiding the pigs. I wasn't sure if they'd be ra raiding each other or something. What's the exit? Tooth and Tail, thank you. See, so as an example of a game that actually used animals, 
and thus became way more interesting because it was also an allegory. Because animals are really useful in in fiction because animals can present a narrative like a narrative example without having to spell it out. For instance, you know, like you got a weasel character, they're kind of conniving. Like, yeah, that's a little stere like you can argue that stereotypes are bad, but at the same time. Especially back on the day, those animal allegories were really useful to teach lessons to kids and stuff. So, you know, it had its place. I see you've returned, soldier. Actually, I went upstairs. Are you here? Are you working with the pigs? Why are you here? I'll need your mystery report. Let's debrief over dinner. You know, I, I'm amazed how much food I got, considering I thought I was just picking up apples. I, I cooked all this with just apples? Amazing. Alright, so, uh, do you want me to... Yeah, okay. Well, she has a queen. She can't do anything herself. Here, have some chocolate strawberries, I guess. Apples can also be more reliable than a human. Well, I mean, it depends, but yeah. This, this part takes too long? It does take a bit, doesn't it? Eat faster, you. <laughs> I thought they were cherries. I, I, I think they were Apple graphics. Nope, she did eat the boat. I was wondering. Oh no, she's leaving the bones. Well, what kind of fat ass are you if you're not gonna eat the bones? Come on, if commit. You gotta commit. Call yourself a fat ass, come on. The marrow is, is edible too, by the way. You know? Concierge, that's, ugh. A mission, huge success. I'm going to take some time to digest. You can destroy your stamina by eating at our barracks. Just go easy on the rats, which may affect your performance. Your story is by eating. I was fine. But you may have overdone it. I did? I am a little fatter now, aren't I? Oh, look, we're slightly... There's a bit of a screen shake now. Oh, God! Wasn't expecting that. I get, is it because I chose the mouse that we only have two hearts? Or do they all have two hearts, I wonder? Also, I swear, it looked like they were holding a slingshot, but I was very confused by like, oh, slingshot arrows, okay. But now it makes a little more sense. Looking at it, it's a crossbow. I don't think I can go up there. <laughs> So it wasn't just me. What well, wasn't just you? Now everyone likes to get bones in their mouth, Charm. Look, dogs understand the value of bones. Just because you don't doesn't mean it's wrong. <laughs> well, that was close. They're shooting towards me, but I guess the wall's in the way. That's good. Who keeps their food out on a balcony? And, you know, like, expose the air. That seems like a bad idea. They do look like slingshots. They really do. I'm not scared that an arrow's just gonna hit me off screen, which I, when I don't see it, but... Apparently the pigs do. Apparently they do. Really could use some music, and I noticed one thing about a lot of the uh, games, the Fat Fur games I get, quite a few of them do not actually have music. It's always perplexed me a bit. I mean, it has sound effects. It does have a little bit of music when you go through areas, but music is hard. Music is good. 
Back for the battlefield. Let's take a look at what you retrieved. Oh, the exact same things as last time. Here you go. I thought I was expecting a different. I was expecting a different spread of food, but okay. Do meats first? Well, too late for that. Cheese first for mouse. You know, I might be interested in composed music for games if somebody were to ask me. She just up to size. Good. I agree, by the way. This is. I get the idea here that you're manually feeding her. So, oh, she went up another size. So it's very fattening. I get the idea here, like the the pleasure of feeding the character. That's a thing, you know. Some people like to be. It's. Uh, you know, some people like to be feeders, and that is to say, a person in a relationship where they're feeding their, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other. But also, these sections would be less worried if there's a little tune going on. Yeah, I could very well uh, compose something for games like this. Like, I wouldn't just do it, but if I was, like, paid a few bucks, I would totally do it. I, I wouldn't really ask that much, but I've got the scat. I mean, you, you have to you have to accept the fact that it'd be in Famitracker, but, but I've got the skills, so. You have to accept the fact I'm not, like, Mozart, I guess, but let's consider that mission a huge success. Well, it takes time. This is the same dialogue message as last time. Also, you have the same bad grammar. Consider that erp a mission huge success. What does that sentence mean? Slightly off there, friend, but okay. You break cracked blocks now. Be careful. You, your story is about but you put on even more weight. Okay. Nope. I'm good, actually. <laughs> um. Only the bigger races do. I'm a mouse, so it doesn't happen. Guess that's good? I mean, maybe you have to break through floors for some items, though. She can't say consider because of her teeth or something? I mean, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> A lot of Fabric Tracker skills will most certainly translate into more general MIDI. Yeah, I guess you're right. Which I originally had. That was the first thing I had, general MIDI skills. I can't, can't, can't get that. Or there's a crate to the left. I don't know. Fever Trigger is just MIDI the sequel, except for it's cooler. In my book. Anything on the left? Too late to find out, because I fell down and couldn't go back up, silly. It's fine. I didn't know I was gonna fall to an exit. I had no way of knowing. Don't damn it me. I am missing this jump very easily. I have to I do an edge jump here. If the dare say changes if you don't get enough crates. Well hopefully I got all the crates that I Well the thing is I don't even have the ability to get all the crates technically, because I have to, you know. Some of them are only for other classes, so I'm missing crates anyways. I don't know if that really matters. God damn it. <laughs> Finicky indeed. Oh, do you have coyote time? You do have coyote time. Well, that helps things a little bit. Oh, ooh. <laughs> well, you have a little bit of coyote time. So it doesn't actually matter how many crates I grab, technically, then? Does that mean I could grab nothing and still somehow magically bring back food? Also, the, the fact that every level, every uh, stage ends with a maze is kind of boring. I'll be honest. Mazes... 
I'm allergic to them. <laughs> but also, they're not good. They're not good game design generally. They only usually exist to waste your time. Um, they only can be useful if paired with another mechanic, say a maze in a mini game where you have a time limit and you have to like sk skirt your eyes across the whole maze and make sure you navigate it quickly or something like that could work. But when something like this where there's no pressure and no ability to see the whole path, it's not really that. It's not really good game design. Another day, another mission. Come, let's debrief once more. I mean, if, if you keep eating, you're going to lose your briefs because they're going to break. So, debrief indeed. I mean, you are a mouse. Of course you get tons of mazes. I mean, what, what does that stage do for other classes? Other races? Because they can't go in the maze, right? So, do they just skip the whole thing or what? You said every level is the same for every class, so they did. So the levels are the same for every class except for certain ones. That's so. It's like some of the levels are different, and some of the levels aren't different. That's that's very flip floppy of the game, but okay. Also, yeah, this is super boring. Like this, this fattening scene. I mean, it's good to see her get better, I guess. But you know, I think this. I think this prevents me from wanting to try the other races out, really, because like this is so slow. The resistance uh, grows. Hey, different. Consider that the, the mission. Okay, yes, I know. <laughs> Consider it your success, just like you. Well done, soldier. The resistance has grown thanks to your efforts. Though my appetite seems to exceed my rations, maybe go on a special mission just for me. Game over. What? It's not generally okay. That, that all right? A special mission <laughs> in the bedroom? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How different are the builds? Oh, okay. You wear different clothes. I mean, I guess the Egyptian theme is, yeah, it's appropriate enough, I suppose. I'm immediately reminded of Quest. Uh, what was it? Qu Quest for Glory? Was that the uh, Quest for Glory? I think. Uh, no. Yeah. Isn't it Quest for Glory that had the cat scene? I have to show you guys the cat scene after this game. I'll, I'll explain via showing. You can at least see the backstories of the people, I suppose. Oh, I see my knight has finally arrived. Ooh. And they said a cute one, too. Well, let's get right to it. You've obviously noticed my positively radiant appearance. Though lately, my figure has been lacking. I think this is the best looking character, actually. Probably. But I can't help but the food supply has been absolutely abysmal in recent months. There's no way for a queen to live. I should be eating whatever I want, whenever I want. I ought to be overflowing out of this throne. Meanwhile, that hog princess has all the food she can stuff her fat face with. It's not fair. Thankfully, I've got the brains to go along with all this beauty. So I've devised a plan. Late at night, you'll prowl through the pig's castle and steal her food. Cat burglary. Brilliant, I know. Now go, infiltrate the pig's castle and bring me back all the delicious food you can carry. Have you played Ver Veradia? Published, uh, take it down pretty quickly a couple years back, but it was really interesting. Rash, I don't think I've ever heard of that. Um, can you provide that as... Let me... I'll look that up after this game, remind me. Unless you have a source, because I I don't know if I've ever heard of this. Special mission can be rather... Well, yes. Probably, maybe, I don't know. I mean, if she wants more food, I suppose that would be a logical. Uh, would be a logical result, I suppose. So it doesn't actually matter if I pick up the crates, does it? Oh, that is the weirdest fucking wall climb I think I've ever seen. <laughs> it's also known as the "do a macarena climb the wall" move. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> Cha cha cha. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Go ahead. Sheesh. So slow about it. Why are there breakable blocks in this fucking noise with that? Just wanted to see if I could. 
No, I don't think I can get up there. I like. I think I barfed when I got hit. <laughs> Hi, boy. That's all right. So, hello everyone who has shown up today. If we have any newcomers, welcome. But yeah, let's see. So, Rash said it was a threat on Echoes. Some file where somebody added a few enemies were left of it. Well, even if it's even if it's like a unfinished version or something, I'd, I'd be interested. Assuming, of course. Well, I don't know. If you could find a link for me, I'll click it. I'll put it that way. Okay, for games of War, Echo's Portal. Well, Echo's Portal is the place to look. That's in. That, okay, let's see. You got me distracted. I, I'm like curious now. Verardia. Okay, I found it. Can you tell me what's in it? That was actually pretty fast. All right. Ah, so here's the unique. That link completely is not functional. Why don't you send that to me in Discord, Selena? Because that fucking broke. Um, so what, well, yeah, what's in it? Is it, is it furry? Is it human-y? What is it? Flarg. <laughs> no, so Lena, just, uh, just send it in a Discord so I remember later. I'm gonna point the app time while you're gone. I hope you brought bat enough back to please your queen. Because if you said something to me, here's the thing about saying me something on Twitch. If it's something important you want me to remember, uh, I'm not going to be grabbing it during my stream, and by the time my stream's over, the link will be gone, and Twitch doesn't save chat history, so... If you said something on Twitch to me, and I want to keep it, and I want to, like, interact with it later, it's better just to send it to me on Discord. Also, we literally, yeah, same, 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 the same struggle as before. I guess I'll go ahead and play this one more time with just this character. I don't feel like doing the burb, though. Not, not feel motivated there. It's this game is a little too savey for that, anyways. But Twitch does save chat of streams. If it does, how? Like, where do you access it then? Why should bite the straw? I could stuff a whole strawberry in my mouth. Why can't she? Watching the VOD is how. But then I'd have to, like, type out the link. Would you like to type out what Selena posted? Would you like to have to retype that out? Would that be fun? Would you enjoy that? <laughs> Make sure to get all the case re casing right for all the random letters. No, she ch ch has a chat replay. Well, yeah, I guess it does. I could eat more. Your reward awaits in the banquet hall. Either replenish your stab and then head back to the castle. Just don't eat too much or it may start to show your figure. You feed the cherries as chicken. Oh, fuck the bird. Oh, oh you're right. Actually. <laughs> Will we be feeding the bird the chicken too? <laughs> are we fat enough to like... Oh, we are now. Okay. Just stay out. It's enough to break it. And it breaks... Okay, it's not multiple stages. It breaks instantly. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me just check something, because now I'm paranoid. Thank you, Selena. Thank you for DMing it to me. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Well, anyways, topic aside from the... the you could just get the link... Yeah. I missed what okay again though rash 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 dolphin or who and Selena I suppose since you both seem to have played it what's the game got in it what what am I what am I what am I gonna expect by playing it it's a lot of arrows uh -huh. I'm gonna die here oh I'm not gonna leave that one I wasn't even aware Ooh. Oh, so yeah, there's probably Echo Portals, uh, Echo's Portal, uh, Vor and Fat for games I haven't checked out. The problem is, uh, they have a games listing, but it's not really, like, a listing that has screenshots and stuff. And Echo's Portal is notoriously, like, focused on human Vor. 
So, if you guys want to suggest games for Mecha's Portal that do not feature humans, that would actually be quite helpful because I can't really bother to go and check everything to see uh, to figure out which games don't have human have a human focus. Because obviously I want the furry focus, you know. Cat's harder to play. Mouse has the mazes were boring, but they were less dangerous. <laughs> Cat's harder. Also bigger hitbox, so. I've even hungry the last time. Don't disappoint your queen. So Rash says, cute pharaoh anthropreds, not safe for work, but oh well. Okay, well, if it's not safe for work, then I don't then it's First off, we shouldn't be linking it on the Discord, Selena, if it's not safe for work. <laughs> or, uh, no, sorry. We shouldn't be linking it on Twitch if it's not safe for work, Selena. I assumed I assumed this whole time we were discussing a safe for work game, or at least, very least, you know, PG-13. Um, but guys, I can't feature games that are in SFW. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not possible. <laughs> I, why would why did we even have this discussion if it was in SFW? <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> Selena, Selena, Selena. Why did you post an SFW link? I, how do I delete the message? Oh, that's how. There we go. Goodness me, <laughs> this is the problem about allowing people have it leak permissions. Um. I didn't know. But you played it, or did you just find it? Okay, she is also repeating the message she said last time. It's okay, Rash. It's okay, Rash. You just made a rash decision. <laughs> <laughs> I do leave the message, by the way, so relax. Yeah, sad, sad truth. It's the movie games. I'm not against them, mind you. They're just not conducive to me. They're just not conducive to playing by the Pound series, sadly. Come on, muck right up that ledge. There we go. Oof. Dangerous. Thankfully, the charm to leave them for remove them from the bod too. Oh, really? Is that how that works? That's neat. So now we get to magically see. Okay, to by the way, to the left in this room, the answer is ding, ding, ding. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm guessing bird can fly to get those. Um, guys, I think I think this. Yeah, for uh, that was forced damage because of how I set everything up. That's a bit of a shame. Because I unlocked all the hazards, it was forced damage. Lame. Huh, can't climb that wall. I was wondering. Force damage is a bad game mechanic. <laughs> Granted, if I had platformed in a more strategic fashion, it would not have been force damage, I suppose, but even so, I don't feel like that's entirely my fault. Like, I was trying to get all the goodies exploring the levels, so. Well, at least with the cat, if I miss the ledge, I can still Macarena up it. Well, I potentially. Oh, thank you for the follow. Or host, actually, meow. You know, I see Meowskfitch host a lot. He hasn't been talking lately, though. Hope he's doing okay. The problem with this edge jump is I also gotta time it with the arrow. Mouse seems like easy mode, honestly, because the smaller hitbox, pretty straightforward movements. <laughs> Just like the Macarena wall climb, though. Mm. 
All right, up we go. Ow. Goodness me, it's really hard to actually grab the wall when it's transitioning, like. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Ticey. Last chance to impress me tonight. Hope you brought a bank of good enough for my appetite. I brought you the exact same thing we had for dinner the other day. Because variety is apparently not something the pigs have. Well, actually, there's a lot of variety. It's just, you know, we're having the whole smorgasbord the exact same every night, so. Dev said a while back they want to try a safe work version, then he deleted everything. Uh, that's it. Now, ready for the next bite. I'm making your, making your eyes move. I've never... Wait, they never interrupted me before. Is it... Why did I get a dialogue box all of a sudden? It's because I waited too long or something? Hmm. You hear a ticking sound? Tick, tick, tick. I don't hear it. She's just a patient? Well, she is a cat. She'll take all the time in the world, but when she wants something, she won't wait. That's how a cat works. Oh, my mouse, yeah. that Mouses make noise when you click them, in fact. And I'm just trying to rush through this. It only, you can only do it so fast. I could still eat more. Yes, I, I know you can. Nah, just look at me. All of me. A body truly worthy of a queen. You filled me with food, though I do have other hungers. You just might be fit to satisfy my appetite in my royal chamber one day. Okay, that is the implication. The implication is... The implication is... Pillows upon pillows. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess I'll play the last character since we've done two of them. Okay, so you got, like, a Greek theme? All right. Oh, hello. You must be the knight they said we were sending. I'm sorry to have to trouble you like this, but I'm in dire need of your assistance. I may not wear the royal crown, but in my current state, I'm afraid I do not quite fill the role for my people. A well-felt queen exemplifies the prosperity of the, my, of the kingdom. I've always been naturally slim, but now I'm on the throne, I can feel the pressure of my subjects' ever-growing expectations. For it's tradition to provide for the queen until she becomes exceptionally plump and round. While it's not my desire to overconsume and grow fat, a queen must make sacrifices for the good of her people. However, despite all this prosperity and pretense, this year's harvest has not been favorable for such a goal. While our relations with the neighboring Pink Queen has been, always been amicable, their food supply overflows, and I would do anything for my kingdom. Thus, I must regretfully task you with a rather devious mission. Under the cover of night, I ask that you slink into the Pink's castle, seize her food, and abscond. If you can bring me what you find, I will shape myself into the queen my subjects desire. Please take care and be careful. I mean, those two statements mean the same thing, but okay. This is just a human woman with no nose and a yellow mouth. Pretty much. Flying. Oh, I can only... It's less flying and more like I have a, a quadruple jump. <laughs> but I'll take it. Oh god, how's that gonna change when I get fat? I went the wrong. Well, I, I had to go through here anyways. <laughs> Fair when you're in armor, gotta be hard to fly with all that on. It would also it's also hard to fly when you don't actually have fucking wings because you're too humanoid to have them. By the way, that's also the problem. I have the bird the bird lady. Weirdly, sometimes they just don't shoot for a bit, and I don't understand why that is. Throws off my time. See, look at that. He just stopped for a long time. But I can get that. It's not meant for me, but I bet I can get it. Well, actually, maybe not. Nah. 
Trolls are too clunky. If I had a bird lay feeder to cat, then feed the cat to the rat? Or the mouse, rather. I guess the game doesn't actually care if I pick up the crates or not. Probably, anyways. So the unique bird level is... Okay. Well, it just seems... <laughs> Okay, I'm a crow apparently. I'm just one. Of, I'm just one of their. I'm just running. You know, I'm just part of their crew. The cat's the most spoiled, as cats tend to be. All right. Oh, you've returned. I hope you made it out unscathed. Thank you again for your efforts. I suppose we could, should commit some dinner. <laughs> Generic crow sound effect, giant. Dot wave. Um, it's actually a bit tough when you get fat. Well, you know what? I do have to say, it's pretty. It's. It's barely worth the effort of going through all three stages, but whatever. I hope my more human focused audience likes these. Uh, episodes to be fair to be fair the the human you know the humanoid females that have just a few animal traits and then are suddenly called that animal like that is a it is a bit of an entry drug i suppose for some for some people into furries because you know you start with humans and then you get to the cat girls and then all of a sudden you're looking up you know actual furries <laughs> most things are harder when you get fat well i mean to be fair, most things are also softer when you get fat. <laughs> Ugh, burp. So much. Nourishment. Please restore your staff by eating in our banquets hall. But do be mindful how much you eat. Our cuisine can be quite rich. Now the beet looks like fat yellow lips. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. Hey, Pikachu! Yay, Pikachu. Still still working on getting those uh, the parts for Hey You Pikachu. By the way, there will be a Hey You Pikachu stream around Christmas time. Uh... Which is a big deal because that game is like notoriously impossible to emulate without the exact thing I am doing. Ow. How the fuck? Ooh. Seems all of a sudden very dicey. Oh god bye? Did you did you mean LMG? Oh god bye! All of a sudden, you're looking up at the kids and kids and text. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I'm not against the idea of like, this is just a, this is just a, this is just a lady, this is just a human lady with like a tail, and I guess they're now a fox or something. Like that's, I'm not big on that. I think it's kind of boring, but hey, whatever. If it serves as a gateway drug and a more interesting things for people, sure, why not? I say gateway drug, but to be fair, it's not like it's gonna hurt you to get into furries. It's, it won't really, seriously. It doesn't. It's not a bad thing. I mean, some furries are cringe, but, you know, that just happens. Anybody can ruin anything, you know. Anybody can very easily ruin a good thing. For fuck's sake, you can drink water wrong. You can drink too much water and get... You can actually t have water... Water poisoning is a thing. The most generic substance ever, water, you can drink too much and get poisoned from it. Believe it or not. So, you know what? Anybody can fuck something up, and that includes furries. It includes the fandom. The fandom, it's cool, but there, there can be bad apples inside me. What? Ah. Ah. Too many pigs. It's fine. I'm fine. God, they're fast. They. Oh no, they're the same. They're the same weight as me, but they're faster. These pigs have been fat for a longer period of time. It's part of their culture. They're very used to carrying the weight. Every fandom is cringy members. That's the truth. And if you just focus on the cringy members of a fandom, then, well, no wonder you're going to hate the fandom. Air is slowly burning us from the inside. That is true, too. Especially the impurities. The impurities of air also do bad things to us. But, you know, that's unavoidable, so. I'm excitement for tomorrow, because tomorrow's poker roll. I like furries for the cringe. Why do you think I watch you so much? How dare you? <laughs> I mean, I do weird shit, but I don't think I'm cringe. <laughs> Welcome back again, Brave Knight. I am prepared to perform my civic duty as queen. Let us dine. She's very articulate, isn't she? 
Do I lock a secret special ending because I played all the characters? Honestly, if you're gonna have like the same game with some variations f between characters and stuff, give me a fucking, give me a fucking last story. You know what? I played, I fucking played Team Chaotix. I played Team Dark. I played Team Sonic. I played Team Team Amy. Let me have my last story. File story, whatever. Let me go beat up Metal Sonic. It's a secret pig root. Yeah, with like much fatter characters. I just realized you're feeding a bird chicken. Yeah, by the way, we're, we definitely are. She definitely accept. Oh, man, it's funny when you look at this. Look at their eyes when I do this. <laughs> they look dizzy. Honestly, she does look a little, like, a little dazed. <laughs> But yeah, the chicken, uh, that was not changed. I was wondering if they would change it or something. I don't know, personally, I would have made different food models for each character, but, eh, you know. The uh, hick. Ugh. Ugh, so much. Nourishment. I think she's gonna throw up at the end of this. Um. I wanna play as the pigs. Yes, pigs. Pigs are good. Oh, wow, we are... Are we the slowest character now? I don't even think the cat was as slow. Well, that's a problem, man. Nah, I can't get that. Even if I jump weirdly from the other block. At least you still have vertical mobility? That's all I got left out at this point, my, my friends. <laughs> What do we look like under the armor? What, what, what does our character look like? Nah. Oh wait, there's nothing over here, is there? No. This is gonna be problematic. Yeah, well. I'll take the hit, but just l stick the landing, why not? <laughs> we look dejected, yes. We're just, uh, even when we're not moving, we're just like looking down. Sad jog, sad jog. <laughs> At least these uh, outside segments are a little easier since we can fly. That was close. <laughs> Walking my head is a problem with this little, with this little horizontal momentum. It's it's actually really problematic. All right, tomorrow I'll be my first live poker roll. Well, that's cool. I hope you enjoy it. Like, unlike the other two queens, this one sounds unwilling to fatten up, but doing it for her people. Yep. The, I, by the way, the last level is always the same, isn't it? For each character. Like, it doesn't, it's, like, I just realized, like, the unique, quote-unquote unique, uh, race-based level. It's just the same thing over and over again. Like, they don't change it at all. <laughs> I don't know what the point is, honestly. At least while the other levels are repeated for all the characters, each level is different. But, uh... Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. No! We're so close! I'm gonna do it. All right, there we go. <laughs> Slow speed makes it very difficult. I'm glad you made it back safely once more. I suppose it's time for me to eat again. She sounds very eager. <laughs> that was close. Ka!
Yeah, that, that last segment definitely proved that the bird is the slowest once fat. <laughs> Cannibalism. It's, it's fine. They're technically different species, I suppose. I, I don't actually know. What, what species is, is she, I can't even tell. When, when you got a humanoid with a few animal traits, it's really hard to place like what exact species they are. Yeah, very crutchy cheese. That's true. Nah, so much. I like how she repeats the whole stamina, restore your stamina, it's like, well, we don't need to, we're at the end of the game. Ugh, what have we done? I am ugh, enormous. This is far. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Wait. I hope my subjects are pleased. <laughs> she doesn't want sex, she just wants to go lay down. <laughs> Unlike the other two. <laughs> well, there you go. That was Feed the Crowd. And yep, there's nothing new here, so that's that's the game. That was Feed the Crowd. Uh, it was alright. Kind of monotonous. And again, I just... Humanoids are less interesting. It's still okay. I like the cat. The cat's good. The cat's a good one. The others are kind of a little awkward. Like how their features are put together, I think. Cat was well put together, though. I think it helps that the cat is actually, like... It's... Probably still human skin, but it's also a cat fur color, so like it kind of works better. It makes it feel more furry, I guess, which is why I like it. But also the mouth is better. Like it's the best mouth of the three. Yeah, cat cat best character. Also the gypsy theme works well for a cat girl, so cat girls just work, generally, so <laughs> But that was, after all, feed the crown.